Okay, so good afternoon everyone. Um, I'm very happy that you spent some time to hear a little bit about the project where I've been involved. Um, I enjoyed this project very much. That's why I suggested to Eden to have a, probably a webinar about it. Um, it is a project where I was not a partner. I was a consultant for UCAN. UCAN was a partner. And um, this is a project where um, the partners or the consortium uh, tried to evaluate and uh, produce uh, useful materials for uh, teachers that uh, are willing to use um, digital support in their teaching. So I hope that you enjoyed. It's nothing, how do I say, out of uh, the ordinary, but it, it is very structured on one hand, and I think it's very useful for anyone that wants to select uh, uh, digital tools to help teaching. Uh, and um, it is, uh, uh, let's say, the result of very honest work and very dedicated work. OK. So why did we do this? In fact, um, uh, there are many digital and mobile resources that we can use. Um, and sometimes uh, we want to reduce investment in software and hardware, and we want to know more about uh, what can we do. These are general motivations that uh, I present on this slide, but uh, as I mentioned, they are general motivations. Um, and um, I'm going to present in the first part um, nothing that it's new trick. Okay, so that's the reason why we have this slide. Uh, we recognize the importance, but um, in fact, uh, there's nothing magic or, or, or in, in, innovative in what was done. It was just uh, uh, an honest uh, analysis, of several tools available that can digitally support learning. Okay. This is the, 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 the general set of uh, aims of the Project Modern. Uh, in fact, uh, we produced four types of outputs in this project. Uh, and uh, I will stop my presentation at the end of, of the description of the project. You can make some questions. And then I'll show you what uh, was uh, done and, uh, and possibly how you can use it. Um, this is the partnership. Like I mentioned, I, uh, it is, I was representing UCAN. There was a large uh, representation out of two networks, one for lifelong learning and the other for uh, vet education, and uh, the other were universities and two consulting uh, organizations that gave support mostly in terms of, um, of uh, administration and of um, uh, performing some of the surveys and analysis. OK, so the first output. This is a very interesting procedure. And I hope that someone does it in the near future for uh, other types of learning tools. Um, we picked up about 80 stools. Uh, digital tools that could support that learning. We had um, uh, seven criteria to evaluate these 80 tools. And uh, we had a, a classification system for those tools with 10 categories. And these 10 categories, I think, um, uh, help anyone. But anyone. I, I include myself in that group. And you can try and see if you are also included in that group, anyone can uh, use this uh, audit to help uh, choosing a digital tool that is more suitable for what you want to do. Uh, and that comprises uh, video recording, web conferencing, uh, structuring uh, e-learning course, um, anything. The other output 
uh, that we had um, uh, was uh, this uh, report. And this is a report about 25 of these digital tools. So out of the 80, we selected uh, 25 that seemed to us more interesting. And uh, we made the report for each one that it's not more than three pages long. We are aware that everyone is busy. Everyone wants to have essential information. But the goal of each one of these assessments of the tools is to help. Um, and I have to look at the camera. I'm looking at the slide. I'm sorry. Uh, is to help people uh, finding the adequate uh, teaching tool that they want to use for the delivery of their course. That was basically what this tool assessment did. Um, like I mentioned, this is uh, some samples of what we did. Uh, we, for instance, we used the TED Ed uh, uh, website uh, with a lot of uh, materials, and this is one of the tools that we uh, analyzed and classified. This is just an example. You have, like I mentioned, 25. This is one of the 25. Um, and uh, we even produced for this uh, TED tool um, uh, a video, uh, that it's one of the outputs also, that um, video and other materials that um, support anyone that wants to use uh, this uh, resource in teaching. Um, you can download it. Uh, this is a PDF that you, so far when I produced this slide, was downloaded about a thousand times already. Um, and um, it is very use useful. You, you can print it. You can also obtain a printed uh, version out of the coordinator. Uh, they can, I think they can mail it to you. Uh, but um, uh, this is also very interesting if you want to use it as a reference or uh, your uh, desk tool uh, to, to uh, support you in, in choosing the, the toolkits. Now, what did we do? Um, we also produced, like I mentioned, some toolkits online uh, that um, are about uh, one hour or less for each one of the, of the, of the uh, tools that we, we uh, chose that um, has um, not only, you have the pedagogic report, which is the assessment uh, output number two, you have an introductory video, you have some examples and you can use the tool. It has uh, all the, 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 the instructions on how you can use the tool uh, that was studied and makes part of the 25 that um, uh, we have analyzed. So this is something that uh, it is online. Uh, and uh, for those that are beginners, and even for me, there was things here that helped me that I don't consider myself a beginner, but it, to the use of some of these toolkits I was. So it was very helpful for me, but you can try and make your own judgment. So this is the third output that I want to talk to you about. And um, we also have um, eight, uh, we have some uh, training courses online. So these were uh, training courses that uh, you can uh, use uh, to uh, train yourself on the use of eight of these uh, 25 learning tools and uh, can help you uh, get in touch and get more acquainted with this uh, with, with each one. So basically these were the four outputs and um, and I'm waiting for questions if you have any. The, like I mentioned, we had these four tools, the audit of uh, learning tools. We made an assessment. We produce a toolkit to, each, to use each one of these 25 that we have chosen. And we also have um, training courses that you can uh, try. So I see that we have uh, 10 participants. If you want to send me a question by the chat uh, opportunity, uh, please do. And I'll try to answer. If there are no questions, I'll continue <laughs> with the demonstrations and we'll uh, how do I say? We will probably uh, end earlier than I than planned. Um, so feel free to ask. I don't see anybody typing. So okay, which criteria? 
that's um, how were the 80 tools chosen? Very good. Okay, greetings, uh, Carlos. Okay, very good. How were the 80 tools chosen? Um, they were chosen by the participants and uh, they were among, uh, we used the consultant organizations to uh, select the 80 tools uh, that were more, uh, if you look at the report, you'll see that uh, they are the 80 tools that were at the time, of course, things change in a year or two, this project ended last year. Um, these were, um, uh, chosen by uh, the group as the ones that were probably more useful. We consider several perspectives, uh, webinars, production of web webinars, uh, web meetings, uh, uh, videos, uh, uh, blended learning, etc. So this, these were the criteria. Uh, now, what, what is interesting were the criteria that we use. We had 10 uh, categories. That range, and I'll show you in a moment, the, on the tool assessment uh, demonstration, the criteria were from cost to ease of use, to uh, availability, to compatibility. There were 10 criteria that we used. And um, uh, these were the criteria that were also obtained from uh, desk research, where people um, uh, will show uh, show where the, the, the tools uh, were more used and why they were used. So the criteria, the 10, the 10 categories that we classify uh, the 80 tools, then selected 25, were based on, uh, I wouldn't say popular demand, but popular use because uh, they were the ones that uh, were mostly used by people who, who selected or used these tools. Now, to get the link, of course, they are on the project, and I'll show you in a, in a moment. If there are no other questions, and did I answer Maria and Eva? If not, uh, I'll proceed. Maria, yeah? Okay. Okay, so... Don't have to thank. We are here for the same cause. So it's, I'm glad to do this. So you don't have to thank. I'm, I'm glad to do this because I think it, it is important to share a, a great uh, project. You, you know, there are projects that stay with you. I, I've been in dozens of projects, if not hundreds, but I've been in many projects. And some stay with us. This is one of them. It is important for me uh, because I think it's useful. Uh, it, it gives not only some criteria to select tools, but also it gives uh, support how to use them. And it's, uh, how do I say, a bridging. It covers a lot of, it's a, it's a wide spectrum uh, analysis, so I think it's very useful. Okay, so I will proceed. Okay, so the first one, sorry, it's not working, I'll go here. Okay, the first one, the 10 categories uh, that um, EBA demanded. For instance, um, course cre are you sharing? Are you seeing the, 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 what I show right now or? Yeah, okay. So the categories, uh, these are all on the website. If you go to the, the, to the website, you have all this available for you. Course creation tools, e-learning authoring tools. So you have to differentiate between the two and then um, in fact, this uh, was one category that we, we managed. Uh, how do you manage uh, the course, uh, the learning management system or something else? And this was something that was also analyzed. The question of testing, which tools can we use? Quizzing, polling, testing, online assessment tools. Um, the possibilities for software presentation and for animation, which is something that people were very interested in. In when we did the desk research to, 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 to understand what is relevant for people. Video hosting services, editing tools for videos. How can you use videos? How can you edit? How can you improve your videos? Like I mentioned, and this is something that I think it's very important and that's why we are here uh, to, today. It's the question of the webinar and meeting tools. They, they were also uh, uh, analyzed. The question of screencasting, audio and capture tools, uh, how can you 
use this for for uh, for uh, capturing images and uh, audio and uh, use that for webcast and podcast. Uh, how can we collaborate with file and sharing tools? Uh, as you know, we live in a network network world, and this is very useful for cloud computing and cloud collaboration, like it's mentioned here on the on the on the website. And um, of course, uh, the question of bookmarking and uh, uh, helps you. Uh, how do I say? Select some of the tools and get. Uh, uh, interactions and discussions. So these were um, the 10 category classification system that uh, we we use to uh, classify um, the tools that we examine. Now, let me show you the report that was produced. Uh, the report, the audit of learning tools, like I mentioned, now it's 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 sorry, it's a little bit more. It's 3,300 times that it was downloaded. Um, in the previous slide that I used, it was done some, some time ago. Uh, now it's 3,305 times downloaded. I hope that you download it also and take a look at the report. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's just a PDF, so you, you, you can uh, take a look and, and read it. Um, and uh, if you go to the next um, output that we had in the project, we had the report about the assessment. Now, this is probably the most difficult one, of course, as you can imagine, because uh, uh, we had to uh, classify uh, for each one of the tools that uh, we chose after the categorization, we had to make a report of, uh, uh, of, the, of the, um, each one of the tools. As you can see, the, 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 this part, I don't know why, it was downloaded only 700 times, about 700 times. But in fact, from my point of view, is uh, the most uh, useful one because uh, it has an evaluation that it's not uh, very long. It's no longer than three pages of each one of the tools. And you can, uh, of course, ask for a printed copy again from the coordinator. I think he has enough uh, uh, species with him. But you can download it also and you can take a look. Um, of course, this question of the pedagogical assessment is very personal. That's something that I've learned recently, is that this question of assessment and evaluation is very personal, very emotional. People get very emotional. So this is the work of the consortium. Of course, you, you may have a different opinion. You may have different opinions. But uh, it is better than nothing. That's my perspective also, because in fact, um, uh, we don't have many of these approaches in the area of e-learning and digital tools. Now, for the third output, like I mentioned, you have the toolkit, and the toolkit uh, will help you uh, use these uh, uh, tools uh, in um, what is mentioned here is less than an hour. So uh, I don't know. You, you have to try and see if uh, it helps you. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, if we structure, or if you look at the five steps approach where you have the video to talk about uh, the quick understanding of the tool, and this can also be used for teacher education. You don't remember, don't forget that you can show this to other teachers, to your colleagues and show what it, what it is for, or even to your students if you're doing collaborative work with them. Read the three-page the three-page pedagogic report. Um, learn from other, from others. Uh, they have the partnership has selected some videos uh, from the use of these tools that can help you understand what are the advantages and disadvantages. Of course, you have a simple step-by-step -step approach to get up and running with the tool. And uh, there are some follow-up like uh, test your knowledge or join a session where. Uh, some of the tools are in action. So this is the third result, uh, the third result, uh, third output uh, toolkit that I think can help you uh, with each one of the tools. Now, if we go to the fourth output of the project, and again, these are the online training courses. I have two examples here. One 
is this module one. There are five online training courses where we're talking about in innovative te teaching. And um, this module um, is, um, you, you can try it. It's, it's, it's based on uh, some points, as you can see on the screen, um, that has some uh, presentations of the partners. These are the, uh, the partners that have uh, uh, participated more on these modules. But in fact, what it does is that uh, presents you with, um, with a, a course that you can take um, to better know and better understand some of the tools that were uh, presented. Of course, the topic of this module is why innovative teaching and why you should uh, think about it and try to produce it more. Uh, because um, uh, some of our students, I just came from a class, some of our students, uh, for instance, love this uh, uh, quiz that you can do online during the class. They, last to they, they ask to present their opinions and they can do it and they can present also their questions while we are uh, presenting our PowerPoints. And, and this brings more people to the class. That's my personal experience, for instance. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it, it is a tool that it's not in modern, by the way. <laughs> it was... It was not included in modern, but it, it is something that um, you you can um, you 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 can uh, you can use whenever you want. The other module is uh, this e-learning trends. This is another module that tries to uh, talk about the micro e-learning and uh, this new trend. Um, and micro e-learning, for instance, it talks also about game-based learning. Talks about video-based learning, social learning, responsive e-learning. But this micro e-learning is precisely the theme of Eden. You know, this is a webinar organized by the steering committee or by the NAP, the Network of Academics and Professionals of Eden. And uh, uh, the chair, Antonella Pochi, approved this uh, webinar that I'm doing. But as you can see, this is something that is also addressed in this project. And I hope that uh, it will be uh, discuss during the next Eden conference in Genoa in June. I hope that you show up. Um, and um, it, it shows um, how you can use Movely to do these tools. Of course, there are others, but uh, this is um, just examples. And like I mentioned, this is a structured way of approaching this question of uh, uh, e-learning tools. So um, uh, the links are behind these, the, the PowerPoint the links are behind uh, the slide, the link, the, the text here. If I click, I will go to, 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 to the, the, the proper link, like Maria has made the favor of placing them on the chat. But they are on this set of slides. So if you, if you have access to the slides, and I think Eden will place this accessible to everyone, you can have access to all these links. And this is... Um, for those who know me, I, I generally don't spend much time talking. I hope to, 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 to have presented as best as I could uh, what we have done in this project and expect that you somehow take advantage or some colleagues of yours. Uh, here are the links to the project and the links to my email address and to Francesca. Francesca is a representative you can, that has actively uh, collaborated with me in this project. So any of us can help you uh, explain or, or get some materials from this project. And now I'm again uh, open for questions if you have any. Uh, and I hope that this uh, short uh, webinar uh, was useful for you. Eva is typing, so I'll wait for his, her question. From the users, we have made several we have made several webinars uh, concerning the presentation. Not several webinars, sorry, several workshops in the UCAN conferences, and um, the the response was very good because um, people most of the times were not aware of the characteristics of some of the digital tools. And for those who are beginning with some of the digital tools, I think this is. Uh, 
this is very uh, easy to, to use on one hand and very serious. I think the people who did this job, and I'm talk talking about myself, I was just a consultant, I'm talking about the others. They did it with very uh, good uh, intent and very, uh, they were very open. All these classifications and assessments were done, uh, let's say, with very good, um, with very good intentions of uh, promoting uh, a better learning and a better teaching, of course. Uh, okay, yes, you were there. Thank you. Also, Anna, yeah, it, you can join it anytime. It, this project is, uh, is uh, maintained for five years, the website, and all the materials are open and self-paced. So feel free to, to, to use it. And if you have any questions, you can ask me or Francesca or the project coordinator. So glad to help if we can. Anything else? If not, uh, try to follow the NAP webinars. We have uh, uh, we have some chats uh, at the end of the day, some some weeks, and we also have webinars. So try to join the Eden NAP webinars and the Eden events. I think Eden is. Um, uh, I I don't see the secretary general from Eden. But I only see the secretary yet. But. Um, uh, Eden is a great place to network and to exchange opinions and to learn from each other. So try to, to get involved and, uh, and uh, let's see if we can meet in Genova in June. Okay. Good. Sure. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll keep in touch, and like I said, uh, be glad to help, okay? Good. See you in Genoa. Thank you.